in my in my youth, I uh, I was a bit of a DJ it's myself. The FICO yeah. law. No, Am true story. True story. Blessed I, with I it. would DJ uh, house parties. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Soccer club discos. Let me tell you, Any those year six formals <laughs> yeah, were I was actually say. more wild than most like year eleven, year twelve parties. True story. I refuse to believe this. No, you I shouldn't. I refuse to believe this. No, I'm telling you because they, they get on the red cordial, and they're just off. They're just zipping around. They're off. Seriously. Whereas at a house party of um, 17, 18 year olds, they kind of just stand there awkwardly till about 10, 10:30 after they've had a handful of drinks, and then they kind of smooth it up to yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Whereas those the year six formals, they're ready. They're as soon as they get to the dance floor, they're they're, they're nuts. That sugar rush hits. You they're know, nuts. they play the uh, what is it? Yep, that Ooh, one. That's a, there was that's a, a bit of um, there's a bit of uh, get low by Dylan oh, Francis get back low. in that back that was that wow. time period there. Wow. Yep, yep. I'm telling you, they they went off. That. See, the last disco I was at, like the the year six disco yeah, yeah. I was at, the DJ Ooh. had like little water pistols. That what? he was just yeah. He Why was just didn't like I have a water pistol? Shooting them into Ew. the crowd. He was like woo, and I was like, what is that? What is that awful? Like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> Like, I have no idea what I'm getting hit by. <clears throat> yeah, that's, I mean, it's just sprinkling the crowd. Yeah, it's trying to hype them up. Go to say, sixes. I'd rather DJ with a water pistol than DJ with an air horn. I mean, that's just a cliche, isn't it? I know, this point, it's right? too much. It's too much. Make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> they they kind of confuse transitioning songs with just tapping an air horn a couple yeah. of times and, and, then and nothing again this is my my like problem with some awful DJs is the transitions right. you got to make that thing stick right yeah man because otherwise if you're just like rolling off top 40 and you're just cutting between them just like that yeah no. it's awful it no. just ruins the mood and if you're one of those ADHD ones that has to change songs every 15 seconds you're like you're not even giving the song enough time to breathe no no i'm loving this jam and now you've ruined it you know I, I very quickly realized that you definitely can't please anyone everyone when you're a DJ yeah exactly and it made me wonder why people would hire me and then ask me to play like the same things they heard on the radio and it's like no you want you want the FICO flavor you want yeah. the FICO playlist let me, right? let me put out me. The, the flavor the flavor you know I could play something right from the exact same album as the single that's played on the radio and people still wouldn't recognize it and be like what that's why true. are you playing this? Yeah. It was very, it was very sad. And they'd be like, oh, good job. they go, oh. That's nice. Put Taylor Swift back on. And you're like. And, you know, like, you're playing a completely different genre and everyone's <laughs> getting into it. And, nah, sorry, man. I'm just not, not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. Yeah, so, uh, decided those days were over and here <laughs> I am. <laughs> with you. On this couch. On, on, on this couch, in Adelaide. Yeah. Big cheese. Can too. I just say, I love this setup, right? The couch. The comms, yeah. we've got a nice screen, it's we're great. kicking back. It's excellent. It's grassroots and I mean, its finest, man. I wish you guys could see it. We're in this kind of loft. I love the, it. On the sixth love floor, it. high ceilings, very spacious. And and before, when um, when I was watching the VODs back from last year, because my mate Maka, who was filming just before, yep. um, he showed me his little wrap-up of the Big Cheese 1. Mm -hmm. And I was like, where is this venue? There's all this exposed brick. Um, like a lot of natural lighting as well. Are we at yeah. some like holiday resort or something? Yeah, you know, you you could be fooled. In, in I could be that. fooled. Yeah, it definitely looks like that. And there's a beautiful. bar and everything. It's really nice. Melee yeah. downstairs is a little dingier. Yeah, it was a bit it's, dank. Uh, it was a bit know, dank down it's there. It's just you know, I mentioned this in the comms slot before. I think it's just the carpet. I think because it used to be the uni yeah. bar. Oh, it's thank a you, bit man. Bit of uh, beverages soaked into it, you know. Um, All right, here we are. Hype set, John Bombo. Now I gotta remember this team name, Extra and Duon. Um, uh, Mishmash. Mishmash. We have it. Mishmash, Extra du Extra Duon, and Mr. or Voyak. I don't know what he's going by he's nowadays. He's Duon right now. I'm pretty sure. Thank goodness. <laughs> so much easier to pronounce. It if is. You ask me. It is. Um, and then Dr. Kresnik. Dr. Dr. Wait, we, he's not going by. He's, do he's Doc Ans, but I think his tag right now is Doc. Doc. Like in game, it's yeah, yeah. Dr. Kresnik. Doc Kresnik. There you go. With John Bombo. And John Bombo. This is this is a wonderful team. So like John Bombo too. and Doc mm -hmm. washed me and Vanessa. It was quite close, and we did surprisingly well. So it well. wasn't a wash. Yeah, but you know, you still feel like it was a wash sometimes. You can't use wash, and it was close in the same breath. Look. We threw so hard yeah. to the oh, point where right. it was like a wash. Does, does that make sense? Okay. Like it was that it was close, but we washed ourselves. All right. All right. I'll, I'll <laughs> look. I don't have a, a replay here to review. 
Oh my so god. So I'm just gonna I'm just yeah. gonna let you no, no, no. build the narrative. <laughs> okay. We tried to inhale, we tried to do some weird things with inhale, me and Vanessa. Mm. Um Nearly gimped Doc, at, Ooh, yeah, yeah, and it was that like two v one situation. But Doc is phenomenal. He's just insane. pulling things back, right? He has such a solid neutral. He really gets in your head. Yeah, exactly. Uh, c great conditioning as well. Uses the best shampoo. So I mean, obviously, <laughs> right now he has no hair. So yeah, so he doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. Even because, more efficient. Yeah. Just the raw body wash on the top, right? Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm excited to see this matchup. I think I believe it's going to be uh, DK Ice Climbers. Um. Unless Doc decides oh, so to John playing, up. John playing Ice Climbers. Yeah, John was playing Ice Climbers Whoa. before. So, so uh, just for a bit of a narrative here, we have two Vic boys versus a Newcastle and an SA boy. So if you want to cheer for the underdog here, I would say that it, that it would be the, Support your the, the Newcastle yeah. and the SA. No, not Vic. Vic are, Vic are always the ones... Let's get the cheering in the crowd. Oh, sorry. So we we. I keep thinking that. Yeah, we're, we're in not Victoria. in Vic. We're <laughs> in SA, South Australia. All, All right. right, the Toon Link. I'm happy to see that. I I think it's probably John's most consistent character from what I've seen. And it's not opting to go with the Greninja to set. We'll see. He's been pulling out a lot in the Sydney uh, locals. Oh really? It's a great success I've as never well. Seen his Greninja. Oh, it's quite good. All right. So we'll see, we've got a bit of a Pokemon battle right now. Two Greninjas on the field. Stage advantage. Both of them just sort of tussling right now. Oh, here's a Pokemon battle on the right side. Yeah, that was a nice little little string there. Nair did down still. Oh, oh dash attack clipping both, both of them. them. I love Greninja's Nair. It is a very satisfying move to land. Oh, great at getting those kill confirms that you need at that right percent. Indeed. Oh. Let's see if Dog we get the ledge trap. Aggression. All matter of hit effects going on. Man, this is very hard to follow. <laughs> it doesn't help that extra sort of blends into the stage yeah, as well. Yeah, he's just kind of his part of the back. <laughs> All right, Kresnik in a corner. No one puts. No one puts Kresnik in the that's corner. That's right. That's right. I was, I was hoping you'd in the corner. It. <laughs> All right, John doing a good job uh, holding off center stage while um, Joseph got back. Whoa! That. Did he just take both opponent's stocks with that's the a, one up smash? That's a two for one deal. Right there, uh, using that invincibility on start to really bury through. That was juicy. Alright. Up till So we have extra still holding on to his third stock. His third stock. First stock? I don't know. Third and first in stock. I don't know. Yeah. You, Still has yet to lose a stock. That's that's what I was looking for. <laughs> Thanks for that. And we're punishing the upbeat out of shield from a John Bomber with the forward smash. Do one. Trying to get something started. Is sent off stage. Cute little team combo there in the middle. Yeah, but rushes to help his friend. Exactly what we need to do in doubles right now. See that uh, down thrown bomb to falling up up air that John just did. Oh man. Beautiful. Oh, there it is again. And young uh, Toon Link, not exactly a character you see too much of, right? Yeah. Um, everyone opts for, you know, the better younger cousin, Young Link. That's it. I saw a tweet the other day that uh, something about the sound effect of, of uh, Toon Link's sword sounds like someone just kind of slapping an apple in a pond. That's foldy for you, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the they time. got that from, but it was... Um, <laughs> But now you won't be able to unhear it. It's like a bit it's like oh, a yeah. black. An up the outer shield from uh, Toon Link. Did that kill? That kills. That is a viable kill move. Up the outer shield. Yeah. Madness. But it sucks you in. But again. And spits you out. Spits you back out. Ooh. But if you manage to block it, again, it's not like Young Link's. Both There's red a lot team. Of recovery on it. <laughs> that was nice. They were both on ledge and then they got back to center stage. Maybe not enough recovery. All right. All right. Trying to ledge see. trap Kresnik right now. Juan. Trying to force the Greninja Ditto. We see Green oh. Team trying to hold center stage, but Extra gets popped off the top. This is looking a lot better. Oh, I think I think Kresnik just saved John. John was going flying off the mm. left, and uh, Kresnik back in him back onto the stage. Yeah, that's that synergy that you need to stay alive in these longer sets, right? Yeah, definitely. And the closer we get to uh, that upper echelon of doubles play, it's, it's those micro interactions that really work. But well, we have... Uh, Dr. Ains in a, in a prickly situation here, 120. Yeah. 
a lot of things will kill him right now. And no reserve stock from John Bombo to stock tank as well, so no. has to make every second you count. You can Pre see him slowing down here with the shurikens yeah. as well, just, just giving John a bit of time to rack up some damage for him. Press the off stage. Trying to avoid Whoa. it. Doubles gets popped into the forward aerial by that up air. And with that, we're at a 1v2. Fantastic stuff from Doc Ness, abusing that rage. Yeah, good neutral air dodge from Extra though, getting out of that forward air. But again, not out of the woods for these two boys. Yeah. No, John just killed Dr. A Ness. And now, now we're in a tough spot because we have probably top five player in Australia, Extra, against John, who has not come that close. So now we're back down to a 1v1. I I tell you, it's not, it's not looking Again, good. Man, I just want to say it's never over till it's over until that critical finish happens and you get the, the explosion happens, you know? And well, even then it's not. Oh, that's, that's a stock. so deft, yeah. Yep. Again, up he had a shield. Not exactly the safest move from Toon Link. Yeah. And if space correctly, Game & Watch can get the sweet spot down smash. That's a kill. Yeah. That cost them. That cost them dearly. Let's see if they can turn this around. It's that collateral scramble. Sometimes you get cops. It wasn't worth it, man. Yeah. He was already up there, ready to up air. Mm. I think John just got uh, got thirsty for the stock. Yeah. All right, look, I don't blame him. We've all been there. Yeah, you throw a button out there just to catch something as much as you can, and sometimes it gets the better of you, right? Yeah, they really needed to switch gears. Just go, hey, whoa, it's 1v2. Let's slow down. Yeah. Let's just make sure we get the stock. Because normally, you know, yeah, exactly. It's incredibly difficult to make a comeback against 1v2. Um, mm. Unless, of course, they're at that maiden percent of 150, 120. Um, All right, uh, we have a switch. Yeah. Trying to bring a bit more firepower to the table. Now, this is, I don't know if you'd call it Dr. Anas's main, but definitely his most played character. Oh, it's his signature character. It's what he's known for. It's what gets him the clips. It's what gets him the results. The clout. Yeah, the clout. There's so much clout. All right, yeah. Kalos, big stage. And Interesting choice. This would have been John. This would have been for John. I don't I don't think that oh, don't Dr. Think Anas not quite really is stage, fast yeah. with this stage. Yeah. Because it's not, there's, a, there's a lot of um, cargo throw shenanigans that just get invalidated because of the... Um, the walls, right? I see. Well, I mean, to be honest, in doubles, you're probably not going to run off stage with somebody in cargo. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you'd be surprised, right? If mm. you have John to sort of lock it down, lock the other guy down. Yeah, maybe. Get something sneaky nice. right there. And that was a early stop from Dr. Ains on, on Extra. And a, great, people. and a great trade with the back air. Bear in mind, Extra was the last person to lose a stop last, mm. last game. So that's already a, a, quite a shift. The aggressive, big damage, big punish game from Donkey Kong working out so well early on. Let's see if it has the stamina to really keep up with these two. Oh, not oh, safe this jump. It's a back to stage. Extra working on this ledge trap. But jump finding his way out of the corner. Ooh, Dr. Anis in a bad spot. Yeah, look at this. Both the red team in disadvantage right now. Uh, John's back there, but oh, John, look at John. him back on stage. Look at that, so dynamic. Yeah, it's a bit of a old switcheroo. Oh, oh there's that cargo, there's the cargo toss. you were talking oh, about. And look at that value on that 156 on Rage. Deleted extra at like terrifying. 70. He <coughs> just killed his teammate. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, that's a loss he's willing to take look, at this point. That's one all from last game yeah. where uh, John took a stock off Dr. ANS. So. And extra's nearly... Uh, out of stocks right now. Juwon has one left, so we'll be able to stock share. Juwon just full on carrying Dr. Anos off the stage. Oh, this is huge. We have four stocks to two right now. Check out the momentum as well. Red team are running with the money on this one. Oh, oh that standoff in shield. Know, Did you see chicken, that? Yeah. They're like, go on, grab. I dare you. Dika's like, no, I got you. I got you, fam. If, hey, if there's going to be a grab standoff, I'd bet the grappler every time. Oh yeah, every yeah. time. The heavy with the bigger range for sure, man. Oh, that platform saving uh, Dr. Ains from the down tilt fair there. Yep. Charges an F smash. Doc Tra try to get an approach, but charges an F. Smash. Yeah. <laughs> charges the old uh, donkey punch. Giant punch, donkey punch. No, no, he know. was charging the clap. Oh, was the he? Ledge. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right. I don't even know what killed. I think it was back air or something. No, he was still in shield. Nice.
I didn't even see. I thought it was extras back here, but yeah. B reverse. That is a donkey bun. <laughs> that is a clean four stop. Oh, that's DK. Huge. Can we talk about the game that DK plays? Just relentless rush down. Mm. The advantage is just insane with this character, and you don't really get. I feel like Bowser's in a similar sort of vein, but definitely nowhere near as explosive, right? Because you've got, as Donkey Kong, you've got the speed mm. to work with, but you've also got a much more potent grab game, right? The disadvantage is pretty rough, but you've got so many mix-ups, so many spikes to delete characters. I think Bowser's is by far a better character. I think so as well. But, yeah, there's something about the way that uh, Dr. Anus plays DK. Yeah. Is yeah, it's oh, terrifying. If you, yeah, on paper, right, Bowser's is definitely the better character with the better tools. And but you look at this and you're like, oh, okay, you know, two relatively fast characters with big hitboxes should mm. do fine against DK, but they just aren't. How light is Greninja? Oh, I'm pretty sure that's like a bottom 10 weight class character. For really? Sure. I think so, yeah. I mean, Game Watch is crazy, like, we saw that before. Yeah. FD! Wow, not a lot of space to work with here. This is strange, we're seeing John, the zona, in front of Dr. Ines. They yeah. were like, usually you'd see it the other way around, where is you that, have the big boy in the front. Was that how they spawned? They must yeah, have been, but right? they didn't, you know. Yeah. They, they, didn't, they didn't reset, yeah, I guess. Oh, no, Doc. oh, extra getting a lot of percent on Dr. Ines here. Oh, wow, pops him back up. Down double air, dips. down air again. Double dips in the down air. Doc off stage, has to go low. Ooh. That was a beautiful recovery. Yeah, he drifted back a bit. I don't know if the water sort of messed him up, but he managed to get back to ledge all right. Pops his teammate with the nair. But now they've separated in a 1v1 sort of scenario. But extra, quickly recognizing the problem. He's got Dr. Ines very almost killed himself there with that fastball on it. So mm. that. Whoa. Game Watch is... Did you see that save from John? Yeah. That was mid back here, and DK's at 140. He definitely would have with, died. Oh, for sure. And John just came in with that sour spot up here, saving his teammate. Oh, Brilliant. what a swing! But Duan's still alive. The verticality from Hydro Pump. Relentless. Working wonders right there. But Doc got two spikes right there. Oh, that's going to cost him. Right. Let's get something started. Punishing with a backer out of shield. Doc losing his first stock, but let's see what Green Team can do to answer. Right now they're playing this pretty comfortably. Again in the stock lead. Oh, Dr. Ines getting carried off stage here. No, it makes it back comfortably. Makes it back, but back in the corner. Oh, oh catches the jump. jump. Read. He has to up B. Yeah, no, making it back safely. Snaps ledge just in time for John Bombo. Fight to the up the out of shield. Oh! Nice up air there from Dr. Ness taking it over extra. Oh, and that is such a quick move as well. Right now we have uh, Mishmash with a slight lead since we have John and Dr. Ness with a high percent on their second stock. Mm, but if, yeah, again, if Doc plays his cards right, he's going to be living for another maybe 30%. We'll have to see. Yeah. Greninja is obviously like a bit lacking in the kill power. Has to excel in the offstage game, so... Well, I mean, Greninja's got some very consistent setups, but... At this percent? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, true, true. They might fall out. Oh, oh that air dodge had that. So Yeah, scary. great coverage from Duan. Just comes in there like... Try to add a bit more dare you. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to add a bit more shield pressure to force Doc into an even stickier situation. Oh. Dr. Ines, incredible he's still alive, to be honest. Oh, man. But he's so quick. Snaps the ledge, doesn't get caught by the two uh, frame. Caught by the forward air there when the with the neutral get off, unfortunately. And now we have three stocks to two. Oh. John Bombo taking the stock with up the out of shield. That's a move that kills, we've said that before. Another young link up the out of shield. This is, uh, it's starting to get away from red team. Oh yeah, and then he's caught the jump with the boomerang. Yeah, that down tilt up smash, tragic through of Greninja. Oh. And did you see the way he read that air dodge? I saw it, yeah. Great catch on the landing. Great read as well. He fully expected. Um, yeah. Nice. Mishmash taking that 2-1. And I'd say that last game was pretty safe as well. 
Yeah. Pretty sad. That was a good set. Yeah, I know. That was a good one to watch.